Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. Well, this is a nice turn of events. They're decorated. Hank, I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately, and as you can probably tell, puff levels are a little bit high, but I don't want to talk about that today. I want to talk about my favorite subreddits. For those who are unaware, Reddit is a link aggregation site with lots of different communities called subreddits, and while I often find browsing an uncurated Reddit to be a little bit unpleasant and at times even kind of toxic, there are also many wonderful corners of Reddit, including, for the record, reddit.com slash r slash nerdfighters, where you can follow along with all the happenings in nerd Fighteria. Okay, first we have Children Falling Over, which is just a collection of mostly wholesome gifs of children falling over. I mean, who among us does not want to watch this kid fall off a diving board over and over and over again? And speaking of over and over and over, another of my favorite subreddits is Better Every Loop, which is a collection of gifs that get better with every loop. An example being this gif entitled Four Girls, One Rat, in which a group of young people devise a brilliant and complicated strategy for ridding their home of a rat. Wait, wait, for it, wait for it, yes! Oh, I could watch that again and again, but alas, we can't, because we have to move on. Oh no, wait, I just realized that I've already said GIF several times in this video, so everyone's gonna be mad at me for my pronunciation, and flame wars are gonna erupt in the comments. Even though, for the record, both pronunciations are entirely correct. In fact, I'm just gonna use both pronunciations to make sure that I infuriate everyone. Right, okay, let's move on to birds with arms, which sounds like some kind of weapons-related euphemism, but in fact is a subreddit devoted to birds with arms. They got, like, owls with arms, roosters with with arms, armed hawks with arms, basically all of the major birds but with arms. Somewhat more sophisticated is the subreddit Internet is Beautiful, which introduces you to beautiful websites all around the world, from one that allows you to listen to live radio anywhere on the planet, to a website where Google's AI tries to guess what your doodles are. Basically, it's like playing Pictionary against Google, and it turns out that Google is very good at Pictionary. That AI still can't figure out which videos to demonetize, but it's great at Pictionary. Also in the Is Beautiful category, Data is Beautiful, a subreddit that shares interesting and beautifully presented data, like this web tool explains which countries are emitting the most carbon and from what sources. Then we have RuPaul's Drag Race, which is full of screenshots and fan art and GIFs about the best reality TV show currently on the air. Another of my pop culture favorites is the subreddit Empire Did Nothing Wrong, which is devoted to the fan theory that in the Star Wars universe, the Empire is actually good and the Rebel Alliance are the bad guys. Okay, let's move on to Nature is Effing Lit, but with the actual curse word. This subreddit explores all the ways that nature is, you know, effing lit, like this crab using two C and to protect himself. There are also great collaborative communities on Reddit, like Reddit Gets Drawn, where people submit photographs and then other people draw them, so that this dog, for instance, becomes this, and this, and this. That just makes me happy, as does Oddly Satisfying, a community devoted to images and animations that are oddly satisfying. Like, this one is called Double Dominoes, and at first you're like, yeah, I don't know, that's reasonably satisfying, but then if you just wait for it for a second, oh, now that. That is oddly satisfying. I also love the subreddit Imaginary Maps, as readers of Paper Towns will be unsurprised to learn. It does contain the occasional copyright trap map, but it's mostly somewhat fantastical maps, like majority language spoken at home in the Republic of Skyrim, or really fantastical maps like New York State High Speed Rail 2030. And lastly, there is a very weird subreddit called High Quality GIFs, in which people devote many, many hours to creating astonishingly, stupidly high-quality GIFs. And even more weirdly, almost all of them are so-called meta, which is to say that they are mostly GIFs about GIFing, or possibly GIFs about GIFing. High quality GIFs is one of those places where the longer you hang around, the better it gets. And that's my favorite kind of internet community. In fact, it's the kind I hope we have here. Okay, Hank, I have to get back to work, but at some point I will need a break, so I hope you'll let me know in comments what your favorite corners of the internet are on Reddit or elsewhere. Hank, DFTBA, I will see you on Friday.